become familiar with the unseen therapist and we communicate with her and get more trust in all of this, we can do this individually. Like I can do it myself with unseen therapists. Yeah. But I can also do it with you. And the two of us can get together with unseen therapists working with us. Now, as two people working together, love is best when it's shared. Okay. It doesn't mean we can't do it solo. A lot of people get a lot of work, a lot of stuff done solo. But if I can connect with you and we have a joint goal, it might be something like we want to fix my physical ailment of some kind or other. So we're working on a joint goal. Or maybe we are working on your resentments about some relative in your family or some business associate or something like that. We are working together to do that. Now, if we add a third person and a fourth person and a fifth person, um, that's more love shared is what it is. The power starts to grow in that. Um, I, you know, I've had a lot of feedback from folks that have set up little groups that meet once a, once a week or twice a week, this kind of thing. And they share in this way, and they're getting better results. They're also connecting with each other in ways they hadn't before. They're able to let down their guards a little more so they can put more on the table as to what really issues really are. Uh, all of which helps the unseen therapist. It helps the whole group. It helps everything. And you take that those smaller groups, which are getting accelerated benefits, and you expand that idea to the world. Ah, and now you've got something that is even beyond our imagination at this point. But we're taking our steps. We're going there, bit by bit, piece by piece. We're shifting everything. Um, I don't know how long it'll take, uh, but at least we're started. At least we've started.